Galloway. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Um, it seems appropriate uh, that the Minister Maggie Barry is in the chair for this debate about part one of the Social Housing Reform Transactions Mandate Bill because, um, as we know, uh, part, uh, sorry, section uh, four. Uh, which adds new section 2A to the Principal Act, uh, is all about the Minister being able to exclusively administer the land. And uh, if there's one Minister who knows about overstepping the boundaries uh, of, uh, of, of administration, it would be Maggie Barry, who of course hand-picked her own friend uh, to do some of the landscaping on Pukiahu, uh, rather than using the original uh, landscaper who had won the original uh, competition, which was an open and transparent process for choosing who the landscaper should be. No, Maggie Barry chose her mate. And that, sir, is one of the principal concerns we have with Clause 4 of Part 1 of this legislation, is because what this does is it gives two ministers the power to hand-pick who state houses can be sold off to. And as we said, this government does not have a good track record when it comes to hand-picking their mates for sweetheart deals. Sky City, Rio Tinto, the Warner Brothers, the list goes on and on and on. And the last thing that this House should be doing is passing legislation that takes financial decisions out of the hands of the Crown agencies that have been dealing with this stuff for years. The Crown agency called Housing New Zealand the, the, the clue is in the name, Minister, about what they do and what their expertise is. We're taking that role away from Housing New Zealand, the government agency that, is, that has to be transparent, that has to, uh, that has to um, report back not only to the government uh, but to this House and to the public at large, and handing that responsibility over to one or two Ministers in a government that has a poor track record. That scares the bejesus out of the opposition and out of the people of New Zealand. I'd like to look closely at a couple of the clauses uh, under, under 2A. First of all, the one that has been struck out by the Select Committee. And it would be very useful for me if one of the members opposite who sat on that select committee could explain why uh, Clause 2A4 has been struck out, because it reads as follows. All amounts payable to the Crown in respect of land declared to be land that is subject to this section, including all amounts that, if this Act has not been passed, would have been payable into the housing account, if any, must be paid into a Crown bank account. Why? have they struck out the clause that says the money raised from selling state houses has to go into a Crown account. What is, what, that, it just seems so obvious that that is a necessary clause, that that money must be, by legislation, required to go into a Crown account. Now, it's possible that there is a sensible answer to that, but we have not heard from any of the members opposite about what the sensible answer might be. So my question is to the minister and the chair and to the members opposite, why was 2A4 struck out by the select committee? That would be very helpful to the House if that could be explained to us. Then we have clause five. Then we have clause five. The corporation is not responsible or liable for the minister's performance or exercise of functions, powers and duties under subsection two. Now, as I've said, the corporation is the government mandated organisation to be the expert on housing. So never mind, never mind that fact that the government organisation that is the expert in housing is not required to be liable for the minister's performance. My question is, who is? Who is the minister accountable to? Who is the minister responsible to for the decisions that they make about who this, these houses should be sold off to? I want to give the House a view that was expressed to me. This is not a Labour Party view. This is a view that was expressed to me uh, by a constituent of mine who, it's fair to say, is um, 
uh, doesn't naturally align with our um, view on politics. He's a, he's a um, property owner, Mr. Chairman. John O'Nola. 